Late Night Thoughts. Nine reasons why your ex won't leave your mind, A. Eh? What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. You know, late night thoughts can be a real roller coaster, especially when it comes to that ex who just won't vacate the space in your brain. Today, we're diving into the reasons why we're constantly haunted by the ghosts of relationships past. Let's get into it. Number one, nostalgia strikes. All right, first up on the list is that pesky thing called nostalgia. Remembering the good times can hit you right in the feels, making it hard to let go. Huh? Nostalgia, the ultimate time traveler. It's like your brain has a highlight reel of all the amazing moments you shared with your ex. Those late night thoughts might be fueled by the warmth of those memories, making it tough to forget. Number two, unfinished business. Ever feel like there's unfinished business? Maybe there were things left unsaid or unresolved issues. It's like your brain is on a mission to find closure. The lingering feeling of unfinished business can be a relentless reminder that there might be something left on the table, making it hard to move on. Number three, social media stalking. Social media, the double-edged sword of the digital age. While it keeps us connected, it also opens the floodgates to stalking. It's easy to find yourself deep into your ex's social media, scrolling through old photos and wondering what they've been up to. But trust me, that won't help you let go. Let's face it, we've all been there. Number four, fear of being alone. The fear of being alone can be a major culprit. It's like your brain is convinced that your ex was the only one who could fill that void. The fear of being alone is a powerful force. Your ex might have been a significant part of your life, and the idea of facing the world so low can be intimidating. Your brain might be clinging to the familiar because it feels safer than the unknown. Spoiler alert, you're awesome on your own too. Number five, the comparison game. The comparison game is a trap. Sometimes, we can't help but compare our current situation with what we had before. Trust me, it's a losing game. Comparing your past relationship with your current situation is like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. Each relationship is unique. And dwelling on the past can prevent you from fully appreciating what's in front of you. It's time to stop playing the comparison game and embrace the present. Number six, no distractions. Boredom and lack of distractions can be dangerous. When you've got too much time on your hands, your mind tends to wander to familiar territory, like that old relationship. Boredom is the perfect breeding ground for overthinking. When you lack distractions, your mind tends to wander. And if your ex is a familiar train of thought, well, there you go. Late night contemplation about what was and what could have been. Number seven, emotional roller coaster. The emotional roller coaster post breakup often involves stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Some days, you might be riding the wave of acceptance, feeling empowered and ready for a fresh start. But then, out of nowhere, a song, a scent, or in a memory triggers a tidal wave of emotions, pulling you back into the intricate web of your past relationship. Your ex becomes a symbol of both joy and pain, and navigating this roller coaster means confronting the reality that it's okay not to have it all figured out. Late at night, when the world is quiet, your mind might amplify these emotions, making it challenging to escape the cycle of thinking about your ex. Number eight, shared friend circles. Let's dive into the complexities of shared friend circles and how they contribute to those persistent late night thoughts about your ex. Having mutual friends with your ex can create a unique set of challenges post breakup. On one hand, maintaining connections with shared friends allows for a sense of familiarity and continuity. However, on the flip side, it also means that your ex's presence may linger in your social circles. 
Your friends might unintentionally bring up your ex in conversations, share updates about their life, or even invite both of you to the same events. The shared friend dynamic can act as a constant reminder of the past, making it difficult to fully disengage from thoughts about your ex. It's like navigating a social minefield where every interaction has the potential to trigger memories or emotions associated with the relationship. Number 9. The What If Syndrome Now, let's talk about the What If Syndrome, a mental game that often haunts those late-night thoughts, adding an extra layer of complexity to the aftermath of a breakup. This syndrome is like a cinematic reel of alternate realities, where your mind crafts scenarios that didn't happen in the actual timeline of your relationship. Your brain starts to explore the countless what-if scenarios. What if you had communicated differently? What if you had given it another chance? What if the timing was better? These hypothetical questions can be a breeding ground for self-doubt and nostalgia, keeping the memories of your ex alive in your mind. The what-if syndrome is fueled by the uncertainty of the future and the human tendency to romanticize the past. It's as if your mind is attempting to rewrite history, searching for paths not taken and potential outcomes that could have led to a different present. To conclude, so there you have it, folks. Late night thoughts about your ex can be a real head scratcher, but guess what? You are not alone. We've all been there, tossing and turning in bed, wondering why our ex is on repeat in our minds. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you've ever fallen victim to the late night ex thoughts. Until next time, stay strong, stay awesome, and remember, you are in control of those late night thoughts. Have a wonderful day, eh?